Hello everyone, welcome back to WrestleWorld. We have two games today. Our first game is Enfield United versus Showtime FC. And our second game is Memechik versus Zaza. I'm actually going to record the Enfield United game just because Memechik and Zaza have been on the channel lots. And Enfield United are playing a new team to the league, Showtime FC. Uh, they're not a brand new team. They used to be in the Middlesex Sunday League. They've moved over to the Barnet League. So I thought, let me record that game. So I'll put the table here. As you can see, Enfield United have played four, won four. Uh, they started off very well. And uh, Showtime, they've played three, won one, drawn one, lost one. Uh, no idea about them, hence why uh, I'll be recording that game. So it should be interesting. We're actually playing at Aylands Open Space. And uh, for those of you who know that pitch, who've seen it on the channel before, I really dislike those pitches just because the ground is awful. Uh, it's very bumpy. And especially at this time when the sun has just gone and there's not been a lot of rain, the ground is going to be very hard. So it could cause an injury or two. Um, that's that's why I don't like those pitches. Very bumpy. It's not the best Sunday League pitch. I know a lot of Sunday League pitches are like that, but this one is extra terrible. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head over now. Uh, just got set up, got all my stuff ready. Drive over there. Probably going to stop off at McDonald's and get a quick breakfast. And then uh, we'll jump straight into the game. quick uh, McDonald's pit stop because I haven't had breakfast yet so I'm gonna pick out a little bit just before the game I'm not getting too much only two hash browns and uh, yeah definitely two hash browns and then uh, we're around the corner from the ground anyway so uh, eat food walk to the pits warm up a little bit get game started let's jump straight into the game Enfield United to kick us off I hope you enjoy this game and make sure you stick around to the end to see what both teams scored us for this match So this is the fourth time I've blown my whistle in the game. Uh, two for kickoff, one for a foul you saw in the fourth minute, and this foul, both teams just wanting to play football. If you're wondering how I call off sides, I kind of do it like this. You saw here, I'm kind of looking at the runs and waiting for the ball to be kicked. Uh, so I try and listen for the ball to be kicked as I'm looking at the runner. Uh, that way I can kind of see what position they're in and if they're offside. Uh, that kind of works for me. Let me know uh, if you call the line differently. And that's the half time whistle. Enfield United lead this game 2 0. Uh, honestly, there is not a lot to show you. Maybe a couple of soft fouls, and that is about it. Both teams just getting on with the game. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about Showtime, really respectful team. They'll ask a question about a decision in a respectable manner. I'll answer them and they'll just get on with it. And uh, let's just jump straight into the second half. Honestly, there's not a lot more. It's going to be more like the first half, but with more goals and a few more decisions. So I hope you enjoy it. So you'll see here, I called two players in. Uh, there was a bit of verbals going on. I wanted to prevent anything more happening. The game was being played in good spirit. So I called both of them over to have just a quick chat, not to make it that game and just to get on with the football. And to be fair, they both listened and they both got on with it. Both good as gold for the rest of the game. Uh, so just being a bit proactive there to prevent anything happening. Yeah. 
So the Enfield United number 20 was complaining that he was fouled in the lead up to this goal. Um, can't say anything there, but I can't really see it because I'm standing in the way. But I am in a great position. I'm about 10 yards away. Not saying that it is or wasn't a foul, uh, but this is the only thing I can review. Because again, there's not a lot that's been happening in this half. Um, so let me know if you think that was a foul from what you can see. So it's a penalty to showtime. Uh, let's take another look at this as the ball is whipped in. It falls to the number nine. Uh, he goes for a fake shot and you can see there he gets his foot stood on. Uh, took a second or two to give that as a penalty and then I gave it as a penalty. And you can see no complaints whatsoever uh, from the player or from anyone really. Uh, so penalty... And the penalty is missed and there goes the full-time whistle. Enfield United win the game 5-1. I felt like it was a comfortable performance, but both teams made it easy on the day. Uh, so let's see now what both teams scored us for my performance. So here we go, time to see the scores with Enfield United scores first. So let's see what they scored us. They gave us an 85, which is a good score. So next time, hopefully, uh, we can get that up into the 90s to make it a better mark. And now let's see what Showtime have scored us. So the away mark is 100 out of 100. Another 100 score. This time from Showtime. Obviously, they thought I refereed the game really well. So they've given me a score out of 100. And uh, that's great. That's great. So two very good marks. Obviously, one is perfect. Another one we can improve on. Uh, so yes, I'm very happy with that. Now let's head over to the club report I have to do, which the Barnet League have introduced for this season. So I'll talk you through that. So this is the new format for the Barnet Sunday League. You now write the match report. So we've done the Enfield United versus Showtime game. I've already done the report, but I'll just quickly run through it with you. Uh, so actual kickoff time was 10.30. Kickoff delay, zero minutes. Uh, neither team's fault. The score was 5-1 to Enfield United. You put how many players they had. Uh, sportsmanship out of 10. Uh, Enfield United 9. Showtime 10. I think they were perfect to be honest. Pitch surface. I put 2. You know how I feel about Aylan's open space. I think the grass is awful. I really dislike it. I think it's dangerous. Were well, you provided with at least 2 match balls fit for play before kickoff? I wasn't. Uh, Arsenal ball just before kickoff. So I put no. Were well, you given a squad list of 16 players? Yes. From both teams. Uh, were well, you sent the squad list from whole game system prior to kickoff? Yes, I was. Were well, you notified of the location and kickoff time four days prior to kickoff? I was. Captain wore armbands. There were goals and nets, corner flags. Uh, were well, you offered payment before the match? I was. Uh, were well, you and the opposition made aware of any emergency signings? So no, I just put an A. Uh, so we also have to nominate our player of the match. Um, please state their full name and team for our records. Also, I need to... Add in here, uh, Enfield United. United. And why did I choose him? Um, just because Enfield United put that he was their man of the match. So I've put it as well. War substitutions made by either team during the match. Yes. And then war yellow or red cards are issued to either team during the match. As you saw in the game, uh, it was pretty straightforward. No yellow or red cards warranted for this match. And that's it. Um, Use this section to make any comments of note about the match.
I'm not going to put anything. And then discipline, don't need to put anything. And then bang, just submit. And that's all done. That's the new report form uh, for the Barnet Sunday League. And then just put okay.